Hi everyone, it's lovely to see you. I'm Lorna and today we're reading a story. Today we're reading Lost in the Toy Museum, an adventure by David Lucas. When the lights went out at the toy museum and the doors were locked, all the toys woke up. They bounded down off the shelves, giddy and laughing and squealing with delight. But Bunting, the old toy cat, just rolled his eyes and sighed. He brushed his whiskers, he stretched and slowly, slowly he got down from the shelf. Please assemble for inspection, said Bunting, just as he did every night. He called the register and then he counted all the toys, twice, just to be sure no one was missing. He made sure that they did their exercises, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. He made sure that none of them were broken or coming apart at the seams. Loose threads, wobbly eye, squeaky joints, stuffing coming out. And then he began to talk about the history of the museum, just as he did every night. But that night was different. That night, all the toys just ran away. Bunting was all alone. There wasn't a sound. Highly unusual, said Bunting. But what was that? A note? Find us. Oh dear, said Bunting. Now they've got lost silly things. And with a sigh, he set off to look for them. He looked for them everywhere. They weren't in any of the dolls' houses. They weren't in the Chinese rock garden. They weren't riding on the toy railway. Perhaps they were in the toy theatre. Bunting investigated. There was a mysterious note, getting warmer. But what did it mean? He walked back through the scenery, further than he dared ever go before. And there was another note, and warmer. But what did it mean? Then he heard voices on the wind, coming from across the sea. He set sail. He was alone in the water under the stars. Now he was lost. He didn't know where he was at all. But there was a message in a bottle. One word, colder. Bunting turned the boat around. There, at last, was land, and another note, hot, 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 nearly on fire. Surprise! All the toys leapt out of nowhere. Do you mean it's been a game all along, said Bunting? It was fun, they said, wasn't it? Fun? Hmm, yes, he had to admit it had been fun. He had been on an adventure. It's called hide and seek, said the toys. Perhaps we could play it tomorrow night too, said Bunting. And now it was getting light. But before they all hurried back to the shelves where they belonged, Bunting called the register and counted them twice, just to be sure. The end. See you next time.